So my name is Micah Schwartzman, and I've co-edited a book called The Rise of uh, Corporate Religious Liberty. The book is about um, the rights of what we might call broadly corporate entities, organized groups, not only for-profit corporations, but also um, other kinds of organizations like nonprofits and churches. The book um, discusses fundamental matters of religious freedom, and there have been some important developments in how we think about religious freedom under the law in the last uh, 10 years or so. Those are significant, and they um, change the way in which um, people approach issues of religious freedom and in which in ways in which the courts approach these issues. So um, to the extent that those rights are, uh, are important not only um, under our Constitution under the First Amendment, but also um, as a statutory matter, these developments I think are worth our attention. This spring the court is going to hear our oral argument in a case called Zubik, which involves a claim by various nonprofit organizations um, to, to an accommodation um, from what the, uh, what the administration had already framed as an accommodation to the Affordable Care Act's requirement um, that um, organizations of, of a certain kind pay for um, contraception. Um, the challengers in this case argue that the accommodation that has been granted is insufficient to protect their religious liberties. And so uh, one question that um, emerges uh, out of Hobby Lobby is how far does the government have to go in accommodating different kinds of organizations and what kinds of rights can they assert against the government? What counts as a substantial burden on their religious practice? That's one question that uh, this case in front of the court uh, presents. And another question is, what kinds of interests does the government have um, in the Affordable Care Act's regulations governing contraception? That is, can the government um, show that its interests are sufficiently compelling and that its policy is uh, the least restrictive means of achieving those interests. Those are the questions that the court has taken up, and they are um, very much uh, the kinds of questions that this book is about. Um, in fact, I'd say the book anticipates um, many of the issues that are raised in this litigation.